This is an excerpt from the video encyclopedia of pool practice, a 5 DVD series covering over 175 drills and challenges in 30 different categories. This clip is from disc 2, which covers all of the topics shown here. This section presents two wagon wheel drills to help you practice cue ball control. The drills have this name because with a given shot, the cue ball can be controlled to radiate out in all directions like spokes on a wagon wheel. Ted Brown was the first billiards author to use the wagon wheel phrase. Before we start, let's briefly review some important cue ball reference lines. Here's the object ball position we will use for the first drill, one diamond in front of the side pocket. With a fairly full hit, the cue ball can be made to go almost straight forward or straight back. With a stun shot, the cue ball will head straight down the tangent line. With different cut angles and different amounts of top and bottom spin, we can head in any direction on this half of the table, as indicated by the target balls. Two important reference directions in addition to the tangent line are the natural angle and the trisect line. For cut angles between a quarter and three quarter ball hit, a rolling cue ball heads in the direction predicted by the 30 degree rule. And for good action draw with cut angles less than about 40 degrees, the cue ball heads in the direction predicted by the trisect system. The total angle from the initial direction to the final direction is three times the cut angle. For more information and demonstrations concerning cue ball reference directions, see the cue ball control resource page on the website. Now let's do the first wagon wheel drill. The goal is to pocket the object ball and control the cue ball direction and speed to gently hit one of the target balls. You have cue ball in hand for each target so you can create whatever cut angles you want. The natural angle, tangent line, and trisect directions are useful references for helping you decide what angle and spin you want for each target. As with the stun speed drill in the last section, you can try each target until you succeed or you can score the drill, giving yourself three attempts at each, earning three points for success on the first attempt two on the second, or one on the third. With the first two targets, you can use a fairly full hit and just vary the angle slightly. Here's an example of using the 30 degree roll to determine the necessary cue ball line for a rolling cue ball shot. Here we can use the natural angle again with a slightly different cut angle. Alternatively, we can use a smaller cut with partial roll to head between the natural angle and tangent line directions. This ball is very close to the tangent line, so stun at any angle is appropriate. For the remaining balls, we need to use draw with an increasing amount of backspin. We weren't perfect on the last few shots, but you might allow yourself a ball or so margin on either side of the target if touching the ball proves too difficult. For the last three targets, we can use the trisect system with good draw action. As always, you should also try the drill from the other side to make sure you don't prefer one direction over the other. For more information on the entire VEP series, visit dr-dave-billiards.com. There, you can view video highlights and complete lists of drills from all five discs. You can also find information about the Video Encyclopedia of Pool Shots series. If you haven't seen the entire VEP series yet, you should check it out. The Pool Shot series complements the Pool Practice series quite well.